You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. It is senior night, three seniors on the roster this season. Right now you're looking at Cole Thomas, along with his parents. He's been a great goaltender for this Hillers team. And here is defender Luke Lydon. Today on senior night, the Hillers take on Westwood. Should be a great TVL matchup. Three seniors on the roster. There's the second Luke Lydon. And next we'll have captain Steven Simos. Westwood 8, 1, and 5 on the season. The Hillers 10, 4, and 2. 22 points for the Hillers, 21 for Westwood. Number 15, the captain, Steve Simos. And Steve. There is Steve Simos, one of the scoring leaders on the Hillers. And of course, a captain. He's had a tremendous season so far. Three seniors that will certainly be missed for the Hopkinton Hillers. Have all the seniors go out for a group picture. Congratulations to the three seniors on the 2018-2019 Hopkinton Hillers, Cole Thomas, Luke Glyden, and Steve Simos. And Eric, these have been three big contributors to the Hillers throughout their years. Well, they have been, yeah, especially uh, Steve Simos, who's been playing since a freshman. He's been a key part of this team. Uh, and like I said, uh, Luke and Cole all have been playing great this year, a key success to this team. And, and what a great tradition it is for the schools of, do this throughout the sports and having been a part of one of these is just a great thing that they do to recognize the families too who bring them to all those practices and <laughs> games throughout the years. Right, I'm sure you could testify to <laughs> how much work a lot of these families have to put in, especially getting to some of those crazy practice times and sometimes the crazy game times, the 8.30 Saturday nights, the 6 a.m. Saturday mornings. A lot of 5.30 on Tuesdays here. <laughs> wow, <laughs> big sacrifice that these families make. And these three seniors, Cole Thomas, Luke Lydon, and Steve Simos have certainly been fun to watch throughout their Hiller years. We're gonna take a timeout. When we come back, it'll be face-off time between the Westwood Wolverines and the Hopkinton Hillers. It is Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. Have you ever considered texting and driving? If so, you should know the consequences. If caught texting and driving for the first time, you could get in a $100 fine plus your license taken away for 60 days. The consequences only get worse the more you get caught. Even if you don't get caught, 
there could be serious effects. You could get into a car accident and hurt yourself or someone else. Texting and driving is a very dangerous combination, so stop before this happens to you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Morning Center. This afternoon's Tri Valley matchup between the visiting Wolverines of Westwood and your home team, Hillers of Hopkinton. Introduce your starting lineups first for the visiting Wolverines. On defense, the senior, number 17, Ryan Blomquist. On defense, a senior, number 8, Cal Garino. Starting at center, a senior, number 2, Connor Donahue. Wing, a senior, number six, Shane Cronin. At right wing, a senior, number three, Matt Etnick. And in goal, a junior, number 31, Ben Goodrich. Head coach of the Wolverine, Mr. Matt Sutter. Now introducing your home team, Hillers. First, starting on defense, the sophomore, number 18, Ronnie Jamis. On defense, the senior, number four, Luke Glidden. At center, a junior, number 11, Sean Walsh. Starting left wing, a senior, number 15, Steve Sinos. And right wing, a junior, number 12, Kyle Rogers. And in goal for your home team, Hillers, a senior, number one, Cole Thomas. Head coach of the Hillers, Mr. Chris McPherson. If I could ask you all, please rise, remove your hats and caps, in honor of our nation, our veterans, and the presentation of our national anthem. Introductions and the national anthem. In case you missed it, let's get you the starting rotations for the Westwood Wolverines in net. It's Ben Goodrich. Your defenders are Connor, Connor Donahue and Shane Cronin. And on right wing, Matt Hetnick, left wing, Callum Guarino, and your center, Brian Bloomquist. For the Hopkinton Hillers, Cole Thomas getting the start in net today. Your defenders are Ron Seamus and Luke Leiden. And your front line, Steve Simos, Kyle Rogers, and Sean Walsh. As we are ready for Hiller's Hockey here on HCAN. Sean Walsh up against Connor Donahue, and we're underway here at the New England Sports Center. Pass up into the Westwood zone. Walsh, I don't think, saw the puck. I think he thought he was offside. And Cronin gets to it. Yeah, that's a good point. Puts it around the net. It's contested by Sheamus up into the near side corner. And along the near side we go. Sean Walsh trying to dig it out of there. It'll be tracked down by Glyden. Pass up over to Simos. 
And Simos will flip that one up. Around the net it goes as the Hillers make a change. Comes the Hillers, backhander by Dan Kirk. Backhander there by Quinlan. Quinlan jammed up with Fahey. Now with possession, Jake Shields. Puts it over towards Horse Northfall. And along the corner it goes. Pass over to the right circle, and that's turned away by Thomas off the stick of Ron Healy. Ryan Healy, excuse me. Backhander by Saparoshitz. Healy trying to look uh, to jam it in there. Along the corner it goes, Healy. And he's diverted by Saparoshitz, and there's a goal. And getting the shot off there for the Wolverines. That was, I believe, Colin Fahey. A tough break there. The puck bounced out in front, and uh, he was left all alone. Was able to just get that over the shoulder of Cole. I don't think he even really saw that. That comes a minute 54 into action. one nothing Westwood. Connor Donahue up against Sean Walsh. Trying to take it away there was Simos. Back to the neutral zone we go. Leiden. Looking for Simos there, turned away by Hetnik. Leiden with the backhanded pass over to Simos. Over to the near side, picked up by Glyden. Pokes it off the boards. Over to the corner, it goes towards McGuff. Leiden trying to poke it up there towards Walsh. Donahue gets a hold of it. Here comes Westwood. Donahue. And he's looking to get it out in front there. Sheamus was there to contest. There's Donahue once again with the pass over. Looking for Blomquist. Now along the corner, that's Hetnik. Putting it towards Cronin. Now uh, Simos looking for a quick break here. A race to the puck between Simos and Blomquist. And Simos lost his stick. <laughs> Trying to play there with uh, no stick. Gotta love the competitive spirit of Steve Simos. And he was racing and that momentum just took it right out of his hand. Saparoshitz picks it up. Looking for Quinlan. That shot over to the near side by Guarino. And now jammed up along the near side boards once again. Well, Wolverines come firing right off the bat, playing some physical hockey here, testing the Hillers all over the ice. Pass over by Quinlan towards Weinstock, and turned away by Hamilton, and we'll get a whistle. That was out of play. Tough break there for the Hillers. They're on the breakout, and the puck hit the referee skate, and went backwards towards their zone. 11-13 left to go in the first period. The Wolverines got on the board. Minute 54 into action. Back ice, McGuff. And we'll get the icing there. This is going to be one of the games, Tom, where the Hillers are just going to have to take what Westwood's given them. They're such a strong skating team and going to be all over the Hillers. They don't want to try to force anything. Just take the opportunities that are given and, and be persistent. I have a feeling you'll see a good amount of the first line tonight especially if they fall behind early. Walsh up against Horsefall. Back to Griffiths, turned away. I believe that was the first uh, shot on net by the Hillers. Here comes Healy racing up. Simon's got a stick in there. Healy flips that one up, and it's gloved by Thomas. 
The back check in there by the Hillers picking up a guy. Walsh up against Horsfall. Looking for a shot here, and Thomas able to turn it away. Still in the danger zone. That was off the stick of Fahey. And now racing up is Walsh. Walsh gets it over to Simos. Now back to Walsh, and he's trying to slip it in there. And now Simos trying to jam it in the corner. Walsh leaves it out in front. And that is off of the skater Rogers from the stick of Gilbert. Defenseman the FOS Westwood just got a stick on Sean Walsh. Fahey is going to force a glove save by Cole Thomas. Miller switch it up once again. Dan Kirk up against Connor Donahue. Pass up the far side over to Mannequin. Jammed up along the far side corner. Glide trying to dig it out. Leaves it behind for Blomquist. Now Mannequin getting in there once again. Out, out in front trying to poke it in. Thomas wraps it up. There's Brandon Hamilton. Hill is going to have to be careful, Tom. Looks like Westwood's always got somebody free in front, and they're getting their opportunities. They're going to have to clamp down and just play good, solid defense. So the coach likes to call that the GSB zone, and they work on that in practice, keeping people out of that area. And the Hillers, throughout much of the season, have done a good job at keeping people out of that area. The Wolverines are finding some holes. Up along the near side it goes. Saperoshitz puts it around towards Weinstock. Now Kirk. Kirk with the backhander. Up behind the net for Westwood Blomquist. We'll put it around towards the near side. Picked up by Mannequin. Here comes Mannequin. Pass up into the Hiller's zone. No one there for Westwood. Pass across by Saperoshitz. Back and forth we go. Donahue looking for Cronin there. Went off the skate of Cronin. Saperoshitz picks it up. Up around to Weinstock, who leaves it for Walsh. Walsh jammed up along the far side. And now Hetnick looking for Cronin. Back to the Hiller zone we go. Thomas places it for Sheamus. Rogers takes some body contact from Cronin. Walsh trying to race up. He's turned away. That shot there is going to force a cover up off the stick of Cronin. 8.37 left to go in the first period. Wolverines winning the possession battle so far. They're doing a real good job of puck management. They're controlling that puck from end to end, not making any mistakes. Dan Kirk up against Connor Donahue. And flipped up by Crone into the corner it goes. And trying to get it in front there was Hetnick. He's turned away. Kirk with possession. Puts it into the Westwood zone. Now it's Cronin. Up along the corner it goes. Picked up by Blomquist. Blomquist up against Quinlan. Now here's Hetnick. Wolverines in control for the better part of this first period. Millers with not a whole lot of shots on net as that one's knocked out of play by Cronin. Good flow to the game so far, Tom, by both teams. Uh, not a lot of whistles. Uh, both teams doing a good job protecting the puck and making passes right to the stick. 7.50 left to go in the first period. Walsh up against Horsefall. Big Shields racing over to the near side. He's jammed up with Walsh. It'll backpedal to Sheamus. And now here's Rogers. Pokes it off the boards, looking for Walsh there. Rogers jammed up a little bit, and it's taken away by Healy. And now getting the stick on it was Horsefall. And now here's Rogers. Rogers with a shot, and went off a defender. Walsh out in front of the net. 
Number of Wolverines quick to get in front of him. There's a wrister there by Griffiths, covered up by the goaltender, Ben Goodrich. Yeah, looks like it could be another one of those games for the Hillers where they're just going to have to throw pucks in net, have the uh, off wings out front looking for those rebounds because it's getting tough and tight in there, trying to make a play inside the, uh, the circles. Face off at 7.20 left to go. Walsh up against Horsfall. Griffiths hooks it up, looking for Rogers. Walsh out in front, Simos. Too many Wolverines in the area. Healy puts it across towards Fahey. There's a shot there, turned away by Thomas. Walsh pokes it off the boards. Along the near side, Jake Shields. Seamus over to Simos. Well, it's uh, certainly been a busy night so far for Cole Thomas. The goaltender for the Hillers getting the start on senior night. Weinstock trying to dig it out along the far side. Kirk gets in there and now racing up here, Shields. He's jammed up with Saporoshitz. So check in there. Hamilton. And then leaves it for Gilbert. There's Gilbert, he'll flip it up. Pulled down by Guarino. Guarino coming up ice for the Wolverines. Some good skating there by Guarino and Thomas gets the wrap on it. Face off with 6.05 left. Well, this looks like one of those games that you're really gonna have to use the speed on both sides. Walsh up against Donahue. Here comes Sean Walsh. Racing up the far side, looking for a shot, and around the net he goes, leaves it out in front, but there to turn it away is Cronin. Cronin diverted by Simos Rogers. Briefly got a stick on it, and now it's Gilbert. And that one's off the pad of Goodrich. Behind the net, Guarino. Rogers. And we'll have a whistle here and a penalty, it looks like. I think they're just going to call a high stick on the puck, Tom. Back to the Hiller's zone we go. I'm not quite sure what was going on there. Yeah, it was a high stick call. 5.34 left to go. No penalty. Walsh up against Donahue. Official uh, talking with Drew Saparoshitz. Our crew this evening, John Ritz, Joe Frackleton, Tom Nappy, Eric Cardi on the call. Turn up ice by McGuff. Hooked off the boards by Saparoshitz. Here comes Walsh. Racing in and a little too high there. Maybe we'll catch up with it along the near side. Around the Westwood net it goes. Turned up ice by Shields and now racing in Donahue. Donahue with some good stick work. Backhander turned away by Thomas. That puck was right out in front. And Cronin had a wide open shot, but I don't think saw the puck. Yeah, I think Walsh was just able to get a stick on that too, just to keep him from getting to it. Simos with a hard shot there. Kirk draws a push from Cronin, and we have a whistle. Yeah, Walsh showing that he's uh, been able to get some opportunities on the outside there, again, utilizing his speed. He's got kind of a bad angle off that, but uh, look for one of his uh, teammates coming down the middle there one of these times free. There's was, was all kinds of ice flying up in that last opportunity Westwood had. Yes. And I don't think anybody saw really where the puck was. Kirk up against Lewis. Here comes Blomquist. Leaves it over for it. Far side, and that one's covered up. John Nolte. Four thirty-nine left to go here in the first period. It's been a good back and forth battle. 
This game's going to be a grind all the way through. Two very good teams playing here at the New England Sports Center tonight. Jammed up along the far side corner, poked out by Gilbert. Off the boards goes Quinlan. And it's turned back up ice by Guarino. And now Griffiths puts it over towards Quinlan and it's quickly stolen away by Horsfall. And turned up there by Toko who just recently came into the game. There's Gilbert putting it around the end boards. Quinlan flips it into the neutral zone. Kirk has a break, Toko along with him. And pass to Toko and it is a great save by Goodrich. It was a two on one situation. Great play, and great pass, nice save. And Toko is trying to go five hole with that one. A good save there by the junior goaltender for Westwood. Gilbert to Rogers, who will knock it up the ice so the Hillers can make a change. Chased down by Guarino, now getting in there, Simos. Pokes it towards Walsh, Guarino. Just past the reach of Walsh, here comes Fahey. Saparoshitz over to Simos. Simos looking for a shot here. And that is off the goaltender and out of play. Good opportunity there as the Hill has caught Westwood in a change. We're able to get a quick up. The Hillers are definitely getting their opportunities. They certainly are. They're starting to put some pressure on. Walsh up against Donahue. Saparoshitz, shot there, turned away. Right in front, Simos trying to jam it in, and Rogers has a goal. Kyle Rogers off the deflection from Simos, makes it one to one. Great play, that's why when you don't have the puck, it's out front, you're right there, ready for a rebound. That goal nice. comes with 3.14 left. Simos on the assist. Well, the Hillers picked it up, so they were, uh, you knew they were working hard and they were going to get their opportunities to get one there. That first line will stay out there. We'll up against Horsfall. Zaporoshitz flips it up towards Walsh, just out of the reach. The golf catches up with it for Westwood. Zaporoshitz turns it back. Back to the neutral zone. Walsh trying to turn it away and will get it out of the reach of Fahey. Good look. Simos. There's Simos. Leaves it behind for Rogers. Rogers. Just a little wide there and a cover up here by Goodrich. To some great smart plays here by the Hillers now. Walsh picking that puck up after a good back check and spotting him wide open coming down the other side. I don't know, did that one go over the line? <laughs> <laughs> that was a heck of a shot. Kirk up against Ryan Lewis. Behind the net, Guarino. Here comes Lewis, and that is a glove save there by Thomas. 2.21 left to go, a one-to-one -one game, a great battle so far tonight between two of the top teams in the TVL, the Westwood Wolverines and the Hopkinton Hillers. Dan Kirk up against Connor Donahue. Shot opportunity here, and that is off Some good luck for the Hillers. Went right off the post off the stick of Blomquist. And I can't believe that didn't go in. That was unbelievable. Goaltender's best friend sometimes. <laughs> Blomquist was just a little bit wide on the left. There's another shot. A loose puck out in front, picked up by Glyden. That shot off the stick of Hetnick. Westwood starting to put the pressure on. Quinlan pokes it off the boards. Turned back up ice by Guarino. And now, with possession, it's Weinstock. Up the near side he goes, looking for Kirk. Kirk jammed up along the boards. Pulling it down there is Cronin. Trying to poke it out, Kirk and Weinstock. And we'll have a whistle here. I believe it was uh, offsides. Either offside or a hand pass. Couldn't quite see the scrum of players here. 
Face off in the neutral zone, 134 left to go in what has been a very well played first period on both sides. Walsh up against Horsfall. And stuck between the skates of Horsfall. Pass up the near side by Shields. Tracked down by Saparoshitz. Up towards Shields, pulled down there by Sheamus. Sheamus puts it around to Saparoshitz. Now up to Simos, Simos leaves it for Walsh. Here comes Walsh racing up the ice. Walsh behind to Simos, there's a shot and it is wrapped up by Goodrich. Another great play there by Walsh. They've, he's burned them several times on the outside, so they're looking for him to go around. He made a nice drop pass, pulling the defenseman with him. Some good mustard on that shot. Face off at 107 left. Walsh up against Donahue. Rogers behind a Saparoshitz, now back up to Rogers. Around the boards it goes. Simos jammed up. And Rogers able to get it out of there briefly. Pass back to Walsh, now Saparoshitz. Across over to Sheamus, there's a wrister. And it's turned away by a defender. Pass across there by Fallon. Walsh gets it back into the Westwood zone. Tracked down by Shields. Approaching 30 seconds left to go in the first period. A one-to-one -one game. Here on Hopkins and Aylers Senior Night. Three seniors were celebrated today. Saparoshitz across over to Simos. Turned up by Cronin. Rogers gets in there and digs it out. Here comes Rogers. Now puts that one off of Wolverine. McGuff got in front of it. And now up the near side, here's Hetnick. Hetnick looking for a shot here. Good move out in front. Loose puck, and it's turned up by Sheamus. Along the near side boards there, and around goes Blomquist. And Walsh racing up. Walsh might have a break, but time expires in the first period. What a period of hockey that was, Eric. Yeah. Uh, some just a well-played game so far on both sides. It is, I think it's the, the best period of hockey we've seen uh, out of both teams from uh, all the games that we've done this year. Hill has been firing on all cylinders and uh, so far Westwood's been able to match them. Well, it was a fun first period and I'd imagine we have two more fun periods to go. So you are going to want to stay tuned. 1-1 one, one at the break. You are tuned in to Hopkins and Aylers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. So what are the signs of an opioid overdose, and how can I recognize that somebody is experiencing one? Well, they're actually pretty easy to spot. A person who is experiencing an overdose may appear confused and have a decreased level of consciousness and alertness. They also may have constricted pupils. When you see somebody who's experiencing an overdose, the number one most important thing to do first is to call 911. Next, do rescue breathing. And finally, take out your naloxone kit and administer the naloxone. Naloxone comes in an easy to use package with instructions for how to use it. Each box of naloxone may look different. They're all very easy to use and you do not need medical training in order to use it. So who should have nasal naloxone? Well, everybody should have it to help a loved one who may be suffering from a substance abuse disorder or just to help a stranger in need. Obtaining naloxone is easy. You can obtain it from your doctor, from a pharmacy standing order, or from any of the Department of Public Health sites. By just following these simple steps, you might just be able to save a life. Welcome back to the New England Sports Center. It's Hopkinton Aylers, Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. Tom Nappy alongside Eric Carty on the call. Our cameraman this evening, John, Rich, uh, John Ritz and Joe Frackleton. A one-to-one -one game as we head in to the second period. It was a very well-played first period. A lot of fun to watch, numerous momentum shifts, but I really liked how the Hillers played in that second half of the first period, Eric. They did, they did a great job on the, both the forecheck and then uh, on the back check, picking up the Westwood players in front. And we are ready to go here in the second period. Rogers got tied up there, flipped up the far side boards by Donahue. And now Thomas forced out of the net there as Hetnick was threatening. There's a shot by Hetnick, went right through the legs of Wall. Now Rogers up the far side. Glyden. Over to Sheamus. Up the near side, Walsh puts it back up towards Sheamus. Glyden will track it down. Oh. 
Rogers jammed up along the far side. That shot wide to the left by Donahue. Miller is working right to left across your screen as Rogers leaves it for Walsh. Here comes Walsh on a quick break. Into the circle, in front for Simos, go Ehlers! What a beauty of a pass by Walsh. Simos with a wide open net. Just a great play all around, a great tip out. The uh, Westwood had some good pressure on the forecheck. Able to tip that puck up the boards to send them away on a two on one. That goal comes with 14.03 left in the second. Two to one Hillers. I was just about to say before that goal, Tom, is uh, Hopkins may be able to take an uh, opportunity here with Westwood being real aggressive and catching them on that forecheck. And sure enough, they did. And they certainly did. A nice way to start the second period for the Hillers. Kirk gets in there. Turned up ice. Good check there by Gilbert. Bit of a cross check, but got away with one. Trying to turn it up is Quinlan. Gilbert with the pass up. McGuff. Olsen puts it around. Gilbert it's back towards Weinstock. On the far side, horse fall. Behind the net, Kirk. Horse fall trying to dig it out of there. And we get a whistle. Puck went out of play. Yeah, I think that's going to be the key here is uh, both teams have been real aggressive on the forecheck and it's going to be which team makes uh, gets the opportunity to go the other way and catch them. And Saperoshitz will come out. Walsh up against Sourceful. Gilbert trying to dig it out. Contested by Fahey. Westwood looking for a shot, Fahey leaves it out in front. Shot opportunity here, Westwood scores. Kevin McGough with the one-timer. No chance for Thomas there, he couldn't see that one. Big screen in front. A two to two game, 13.09 left to go in the second. Now the Wolverines respond right back. And we are once again knotted up. Walsh up against Horseful. Gilbert. Flipped up by Shields. Thomas puts it around. Just past the reach of Griffith. Healy trying to dig it out, jammed up with Gilbert. Gilbert able to kick it out with his skate, but Fahey's there. Over to McGough. And turned away by Thomas. Out in front, another goal. Wide open shot there by Healy. A great feed from Fahey. Yeah, just got left alone in front there again. He had nothing but a wide open net on that one. A 3-2 lead for Westwood with 12.35 left to go in the second. And boy, oh boy, are the goals coming fast and furious. Both teams taking advantage now. Back into the Hiller zone. Glyden chases it down. Racing up the near side, Kirk. Kirk will flip it out of play into the Hiller's bench. On the face off here, Kirk up against Ryan Lewis. Biden with the pass over, Bloomquist was there. Kirk puts it back towards Weinstock. Here comes Weinstock. Along the corner now. And contested by Guarino. Getting in there now is Mannequin. Up around the net, Weinstock. Over towards Kirk. Kirk jammed up. Weinstock puts it around. Quinlan trying to track it down. In possession, Guarino. Here comes Westwood. 
Quick break, Nolte. Wyden gets in his way. Nolte along the corner. Jammed up now with Kirk. Trying to dig the puck out is Horsfall. Up towards Quinlan, flipped up to the neutral zone. Picked up back ice by McGough. Off the stick of Rogers. Here comes the Hillers. Rogers racing in, and that'll force the cover up by Goodrich. Hillers almost able to capitalize on that turn over there. Westwood trying to make a long clear out of the zone. Walsh up against Horsefall. Wrapped around by McGough. Now oh, up behind the net, Walsh, there's a shot by Gilbert. Still out in front of the net, and it's taken away by Horsefall. Up along the far side boards. Walsh, shot by Simos, no good, and it's deflected. Rogers got a secondary shot that was turned away. Zaporoshitz, Hiller's really putting the pressure on now. Shields attempting to pass over, Simos got a stick on it, but it still gets to Fahey. Fahey will flip that one towards the end boards. Saparoshitz picks it up. And the pass up over to Rogers. Rogers turned away by Shields. Saparoshitz feeds it over to the near side. Simon's trying to come away with it. There's Walsh with the steal. And Olsen gets a stick on it for Westwood. Back to the Wolverine zone it goes. The Hillers switch things up. Sheamus on the far side. Racing up there was Hamilton. And now an opportunity here for Westwood. And that wrister wide to the right by Lewis. Sheamus puts that over towards Glide. Good play there by Luke. Pass to reach of Bloomquist. Gets to Guarino, however. He'll wrap it around. Sheamus over to Glide. Trying to dig it out is Quinlan. And there's a shot covered up by Thomas off the stick of Colin Fahey. 9.36 left to go in the second period. A 3-2 Westwood lead. The Hillers started things off with a goal within the first minute. And then within the second minute, the Wolverines responded. And then they responded about 40 seconds later. And Thomas will wrap that up. Tough break there for the Hillers as when the referee dropped the puck, it landed right on Westwood's stick and went right back to their defenseman. Along the near side. Flipped up the ice by Guarino. Glyden. He put that off of Horsfall. And out tripped up there was Weinstock, but with possession for the Hillers is Kirk. Coming towards the near side, Blomquist. We'll wrap that back around towards Maloof. And it's intercepted by Simos. Just past the reach of Guarino. Simos and Guarino along the corner. Backed up the ice by Horsfall. Now with possession, Fahey. Fahey trying to break away. And he's immediately contested by Sheamus. Wrapped up by Thomas. A little bit of pushing going on there. 8.44 left to go in the second period. Face off in the Hiller zone. Walsh up against Donahue. Looking for a shot there was Hetnick, but Gilbert was able to get it in his way. Zaporoshitz lost it briefly, but able to pick it up. Walsh gets in there. Up towards Rogers, who takes a big hit from Cronin. Zaporoshitz flips it over towards the Westwood zone, ends up out of play. I was having a little bit of a tougher time now getting that puck out. They're going to have to just settle down. Wingers are going to have to come down a little bit lower, give them an outlet to pass. And if anything, just chip that thing off the boards and get it out, because Westwood's been real aggressive trying to pinch to keep that puck in. That's what got the Hillers their second goal, burned them, so we'll see if they can do that again. Walsh up against Donahue. 
the golf. It's it off the near side boards, and now here comes Hetnick. Donahue, it's shot there, turned away by Thomas. Donahue and Saparosha, it's jammed up. Samos trying to dig it out. Flips it towards the neutral zone. Walsh trying to come away with it. But he stick on it is Hetnick. Takes a big hit from Simos. Saparosha, it's back up towards the neutral zone. Simos and Walsh come across. And do we have an offsides? Yeah, that was close. Rogers, it's tough to tell if he was just over or if he was on. Very close. But Steve Simos, he's uh, played a real great game. He's using the body, great forecheck, and making some great offensive moves as well. It certainly is. It's been a tough physical game between these two teams. I think both of these teams are showing they want this game bad. Quinlan goes wide to the right. Weinstock. Quinlan up behind the net. Now coming around is Wolverine Bloomquist. Turned up by Weinstock. Kirk tripped up. Picked up along the far side by Bloomquist. Over to Guarino. Uh, he'll put it back to the far side. Long shot there, wrapped up off the stick of Sheamus. Hill is with a real good four check of their own there, just forcing Westwood to try to throw it up the boards. When you do that, nine times out of ten, the defenseman's going to be able to Keep that in. 7.16 left to go in the second period. Walsh up against Horsfall. Simos with a shot turned away by Goodrich. Here comes the Wolverines. Healy takes a big hit there by Saparoshitz. Saparoshitz really just threw his whole body he at did. him. He did. Simos with a good stick lift to keep him from getting the shot off, too. Gilbert pokes it off the boards. Simos racing up the near side. Simos leaves it for Walsh. Just past the reach of Walsh. Rogers along the far side corner. Up to Walsh he goes, and Walsh whips it towards the neutral zone over there. Westwood has it. Guarino just past the reach of Gilbert. And Thomas comes way out of the net, ended up getting the stick on it. And then Saparoshitz gets tripped up and falls into the net. That was a big risk, I'd say, yeah, by Yeah, lucky Cole there. Thomas. He had to come out. He had the chance to get it. Just unfortunate when he shot it, it went right back off the Westwood player, but he was able to make the secondary save. I'd say the net coming dislodged saved him there. No lack of action in this one. Certainly not. Been an action packed game. Kirk up against Donahue. Willers trying to clear their defensive zone. Kirk he meets up with Hetnick. Up along the far side now. Sheamus flips it over to Glyden. Glyden meets up with Hetnick. Donahue got in there now. Getting in there is also uh, Glyden. We'll give Cronin a nice check. Up towards Shields. Kirk with the stick on it. Weinstock trying to race up the ice. Weinstock couldn't get by McGough. He's trying to leave it for uh, Kirk. Weinstock up along the far side with possession. Flips it over towards Kirk along the near side. Now Kirk meets up with Donahue. Up towards Quinlan. Quinlan for Kirk. Kirk was looking to backhand it there. And it was a nice job by Hetnick getting in his way. Here comes McGough. Game's picking up physically, too. It certainly is. Thomas able to set it up there for Glyden. 528 and counting in this action-packed second period. A 3-2 Westwood lead. Shields along the far side with a pass up. And now a shot here wrapped up by Thomas off the stick of Horsefall. Both teams with their opportunities were at the... Uh... Hill has had a couple of great ones down at the Westwood end. Face off in the Hiller's zone, comes at 517 to left. I'd say this is the game of the year so far, viewing wise. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. On the far side boards, Zaporoshitz. Trying to knock it around, getting a stick on it. There's Fahey. 
Coming up from behind the net, Horsfall. Horsfall over to Guarino, the shot turned away by Thomas. Simos looking for Saporoshitz. Out in front, there's a shot, and it is just wide to the right from Fahey. It was a good setup there by Horsfall. Yeah, I was going to be careful of that man high in the slot. That's where Westwood's goals are coming from. Simos trying to dig it out of the near side, and now Healy comes away with it for Westwood. He'll meet up with Gilbert. Gilbert able to flip it back. That's put up the boards by Blumquist. Pass over to Guarino. Gilbert was jammed up out in front with Horsfall, but able to get out of it. Horsfall tripped up. Now it's jammed up along the far side. Simos flips it up the ice into the Westwood zone, and that'll draw the whistle. I don't know about that one. I think uh, Westwood player, if he tried, could have had that one. 4.14 left to go. Westwood three, Hillers two here in the second period. It's been an action-packed second period. Great physical game between these two top TVL teams. Both Westwood and Hopkinton heading to the playoffs. Two of four TVL teams that have clinched a spot. And Kirk up against Ryan Lewis. Wrapping it around there is Hamilton. Have a pass out by McGough. Picked up by Weinstock. Kirk able to pull it down. Here comes Kirk. Shields got in front of him. Now along the far side, Weinstock over to Kirk. Here's Weinstock backhander wide to the right. Jamming out of the near side boards, Olsen towards Glidenko's, and now Quinlan trying to race up the ice. It's taken by Hamilton. Jammed up along the near side, and Glyden getting a little bit physical there with Lewis, and someone lost their stick. Here comes Kirk. Kirk looking for a shot, and he'll put that out of play. Tough angle, made a nice move around the outside. Lost most of his angle there. Well, these two teams, I think, uh, certainly getting more and more physical as this game goes on, but I think both teams have to be careful, keep their emotions in check. Yeah, you got a one goal game, and uh, you don't want to get caught with a retaliatory penalty or one that you really shouldn't be taking. On the face off, Walsh and Donahue. 3.24 left to go in the second period. This one up by one. Over to the near side, Guarino flips it up towards the boards. Now, here comes the Wolverines, and Donahue is looking to, to hit it. A Wolverine in the slot. It was Cronin who was open. Thomas able to turn that away off the stick of Blomquist. Now out in front, there's a shot between the legs of Thomas. He's able to just wrap it up. Cronin was trying to go five hole. He was got a little bit better job of protecting that puck in their zone. Yeah, the Hiller is uh, uncharacteristically, I think, leaving a lot of bodies in the slot tonight. Kyle Rogers had a nice back check there to prevent uh, Westwood from having an open shot in the first attempt. By that, I mean leaving a lot of Wolverines <laughs> open in the slot. They've been good at covering that area all season. But it's been a tough physical game. Out in front. Walsh able to take it. He'll beat up briefly with Guarino. Here comes Walsh racing up. Looking for a shot there. Over to Simos. And that one just a little bit wide. All kinds of mustard on that shot by Simos. It was a pretty good setup. Here's Donahue. Saperoshitz in his way. And now out in front. Nicely done by Gilbert. Able to turn away that one off of Thomas. Off the stick of Guarino. Wolverines with an opportunity here. Lucid puck in front of the slot. Cronin got a shot off, turned away by Thomas. Now here's Guarino, and Thomas is going to glove that one. A little push after the fact by Weinstock on Cronin. Hopefully no call. Hill is another great opportunity. Again, Westwood was being real aggressive on the forecheck, and their defense got caught up. Hill was able to get the uh, odd, in, odd man break.
And Kirk up against Ryan Lewis. Quinlan. Over to Weinstock. Weinstock was diverted by Hamilton. On the near side, Olsen. Olsen just couldn't get by Quinlan. Good steal there. Quinlan wide to the left. Picked up by Fallon. Over towards Hamilton he goes, and now it's stolen back by Quinlan. Over to the blue line, Sheamus. Now along the corner. Quinlan leaves it out in front. Weinstock with the backhander, and it's turned away by a defender. Shields got in front of it. Just had his body turned around. He got that in the forehand with a much better chance. Sheamus leaves it out in front. Back to the Hiller zone it goes. It's a race between Glide and Orsfall. We'll get a whistle. Game's flying by. Certainly is. Action packed. Hockey game tonight here at the New England Sports Center. A minute 14 left to go in the second period. Westwood leading the Hillers 3-2. This is one of those opportunities where you want to make Westwood pay for the icing. See if the Hillers can maintain the pressure down in this end. Walsh up against Horsfall. Jammed up along the near side. Simos trying to leave it out in front. And it was loose briefly. There's a shot there by Gilbert. Rogers was on his knees behind the net and still got that almost out front and in. Over to the near side, Fahey. There he'll take a hit from Gilbert. Back pass over to Gilbert from Saporoshitz. Over to the far side it goes. Rogers gets in there. Saporoshitz now. 44 seconds and counting left to go in the second period. Walsh racing up. And he'll go up against Blomquist. Walsh and Blomquist go back and forth. Simos now with possession. Leaves it out in front. Rogers tripped up and still gets the shot off. But it is turned away by Goodrich. Gilbert. That one off a defender. Went off a horse full. Knocked up past the reach of Zaporoshitz. And that'll draw the whistle. Yeah, I don't think Gilbert realized how much time he had. He could have walked that one in a little bit closer. But he's trying to get the shot on that like he did. 19.5 seconds left to go in the second period. Face off in the Westwood zone. Great pressure by the Hillers in the last couple of minutes of this period. Walsh up against Donahue. Along the near side now. Gilbert. Simos takes a big hit. And here comes Donahue. The pass up. Over to Hetnick, looking for a last second shot here. The backhander, and Thomas wraps it up right at the buzzer. Wow, what a second period of hockey that was. That's a huge stop there, Tom. Keep it a one goal game going into the third. It certainly was an action packed second period. And I have a feeling that in the third period, we'll see even more action. After two, it's Westwood three, the Hillers two. You are watching Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. Are you worried about letting your child take the wheel? Maybe you should also be worried about what you're doing behind the wheel. Have you ever sent a quick text just this once? Well, that might turn into a catastrophic accident. Monkey see what monkey do. If you do it, why wouldn't your child? In a child's brain, almost all things their parents do, they can do too. 78% of teen drivers' surveys text and drive. 59% said their parents do it too. Stop texting and driving, because if you do it, your child will too. Welcome back to the New England Sports Center. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM, and we are ready for the third period. And as we enter the third period, it is a 3-2 Westwood Wolverines lead. Tom Nappy, Eric Cardi on the call. John Rich, Joe Frackleton, our cameraman. And uh, Eric, this has been uh, quite a game tonight. Action packed. Yeah, both teams uh, coming with very aggressive four checks. Uh, both teams have great speed moving the puck well, getting their opportunities. John Walsh up against Nick Horsfall, and we are underway in the final 15 minutes of regulation. Steve Simos. Pass back to Sheamus, now across to Glyden. Flips it up, and that one's off the goaltender's pad there. Goes with some good pressure, but now here comes Westwood. Healy meets up with Sheamus. Great now play by flip Sheamus. Up. 
by Glyden to Walsh. Puts it off the side of the net. To the far side it goes, Fahey. Seamus trying to stop it. Simos across to Glyden. Now back to Simos. Seamus over to Walsh. Here comes Sean Walsh. Walsh shot, turned away, just turned away by Goodrich. He was one on three and he still had a good scoring opportunity. Looked like he got a piece of his wrist on that, maybe. On the far side, Guarino. Blomquist. Trying to jam it out, Maloof. Back to the Hiller zone it goes. Saperoshit catches it back ice. Whoa, just misses Weinstock as the puck flips just above us. Say at the beginning of the game, watch for pucks leaving the ice surface. Yeah, that was the first, that was the closest we've come so far. I've made it this long playing hockey without losing my teeth. I don't want to lose it <laughs> announcing. Well, announcing could be just as dangerous, you know. Dan Kirk up against Ryan Lewis. Saperoshitz. Quinlan. Turned up by McGough. I'd say there's been more uh, pucks flying around in this game than uh, any game I've seen this season. Yeah, yeah. that's uh, just a show of how aggressive the teams are being. Trying to move that puck fast up and uh, getting sticks in the lanes. Offsides there. Face off at 13-22 left in the third period. Westwood leading Hopkinton, 3-2. They're trying to jam it out. Now here comes Shields. Racing up the near side, Kirk. Taken by Hetnick. And it's covered up by Goodrich. Poke check there by Quinlan. A minute 53 into action here in this third period. Face off in the Westwood zone. Sean Walsh up against Connor Donahue. Comes the Wolverines, pass up by Coronan. And now it's Hetnick racing in, turned away by Thomas. Along the corner, Donahue. Puts it towards the near side. Donahue. There's a shot turned away. Samuel Scott in front of the stick of McGough. McGough puts that towards the corner. Sheamus is there. Sheamus looking for Walsh. And it got by him. Well, I don't see the Hillers really don't need to do anything different, Tom. They've just got to wait and look for the opportunity to get their chances again, take advantage of any mistake that Westwood makes. The back and forth battle continues on. Hillers will be on the road to finish out the season. They got Norwood coming up this Saturday on the road, and then on the 16th and 17th, they'll be participating in a tournament over at Martha's Vineyard. You gonna go film that one? I don't, I don't think I'm available <laughs> Maybe those if it's days. in the summer. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna wait for the uh, playoffs to go to the Cape. <laughs> and hopefully they'll have lots of games at the Cape for the postseason. John Walsh up against Ryan Lewis. Along the corner. Saperoshitz gets it over to the near side. Now here comes Walsh. Walsh racing up. Look out. And it was a good uh, job by Guarino getting in front of the shot of Walsh. Or actually, I think he was looking for the pass to Simos. Yeah, I just got a stick on that to keep getting that out front. Anakin skates around with it, trying to get by Rogers. Kyle Rogers just seems to have gotten better and better as the season has gone on. Walsh trying to jam it in, out in front. And it's taken by Mannequin. Now along the near side. Up behind the Westwood net it goes. Guarino catches up to it. 
Well, we know just past the reach of Lewis. Saparoshitz puts it over to Simos. Love save there by Goodrich. Good look there by Saparoshitz. He's going to come off the right side, then saw Simos standing up by the blue line, uncovered. Face off at 11.27 left. Wolverines hanging on to a one goal lead. Along the corner, McGough catches up with it. Weinstock trying to dig it out. Kirk gets in there. And now here comes Colin Fay. Or Donahue, rather. And it's a glove save there by Thomas. Well, it was uh, senior night for the Hillers tonight. They're celebrating three seniors this year. Cole Thomas, Luke Glyden, and Steve Simos. And all three playing a key role in this game so far. They certainly are, and that shot turned away by Thomas. What a save that was. Backhander there by McGough. Picked up behind the net by Fahey, and now racing in, Horsfall. Quinlan gets a stick in there. Quinlan flips it up. Kirk. Here goes Kirk. Bit of a break here. And the Wolverines quick to work their way up ice and get in front of a McGough behind the net. Puts it over towards Shields. Here comes the Wolverines. With possession, horse full. Works up the near side as Westwood makes a change. Seamus catches up with it. Quinlan nearly had it stolen away, gliding. Pass up over to Walsh. Sean Walsh racing in. And that one turned away by Goodrich. Simos meets up with Cronin along the far side. Approaching 10 minutes left to go in this third period. And what a job there by Saparoshitz getting in front of Hetnik. Saparoshitz flips it up. Back to the Westwood zone we go, looking for a shot here, leaves it out in front. Simos, and it's turned away. What a save by Goodrich. Just a great play by Saparoshitz the whole way up the ice. Made a great defensive play and then was able to chip that puck around and then keep the puck in, make a great pass out front. Samos was robbed. In a few instances tonight, they've had Saparoshitz way far up ice, further than usual, I would say. Yeah, he's got some offensive uh, moves. He's able to get the green light there to go. Walsh up against Horsefall. Now they'll switch it up, put Healy in there. 9.50 left to go. It's a one goal lead for the Wolverines, three to two, but the Hillers threatening. On the far side, Gilbert. Here comes Westwood as Westwood attempts to break away. Now it is Bloomquist. Bloomquist trying to get between Walsh and Saparoshitz. They're able to turn him away. Along the corner, picked up by Healy. Now here comes Simos looking for Rogers. Rogers with possession, the shot turned away. Rogers along the corner, try to put it towards Walsh, but it's intercepted by Horsfall. Walsh leaves it for Simos. Simos with the backhander, hoping Rogers would be there. Taken out of the play, Rogers couldn't get loose. Picked up by Horsfall. Flips it up and gliding a little tripped up but able to squirt it out towards Simos. Gliding oh. puts it out in front. That was an open net. I think he was aiming for it. I don't know what Goodrich was doing there, but a tough bounce off the glass. I think fooled him. Up to the far side corner it goes. Gliden picks it up. Quinlan trying to turn it towards the neutral zone. Sheamus. Weinstock. Out in front of him is Shields. Along the far side, McGough. Quinlan trying to squirt it out. Behind the net it goes. Kirk trying to race in there. Jammed out in front. Shields puts it up the far side. Lewis turned up by Gilbert. McGough. Uh, just past the reach there of Saparoshitz. And we've got a whistle. Icing. 
And another face off in the Westwood zone. Good pressure again. The Hill has uh, seen, uh, like in the last game, uh, always been giving up a few rebounds. So if the Hill is going to get that puck on net and just have somebody down low there, that might be the opportunity to get this game tied. I'd say no matter what the outcome of this game, this is one of the better hockey games I've seen. Very well played by both teams and entertaining. Donahue. The Hillers, of course, have had lots of entertaining games with a whole lot of Hiller goals, but this one entertaining on both sides. Two great teams battling here tonight. Simos to Bloomquist. Zaporoshitz out in front, wide open shot, turned away by Thomas. Off the stick of Hatnick. Can't get any more open than that, Eric. Tom, yeah, Thomas coming up big again when they needed him. Jammed up along the near side and getting the knockout there with Saperoshitz. It'll draw the icing. And yeah, that's that's what the game's gonna come down to. It's just gonna be a turnover here. You're just hoping that you're getting the turnover and capitalizing on, on Westwood versus the other way around. Face off in the Hillers zone with 7.08 left to go. Along the far side, McGough catches up to it. The wrap around. Riding with the pass up. And now here comes the Wolverines. And they have a goal. Brandon Hamilton able to get to the loose puck. And then uh, is it Hamilton who put it directly in or did Lewis get a piece of it? I don't know. Hillers, Hillers don't think it went in at all. Yeah, I'd get it under the I stick. I don't know about that one. Have to see the replay on that one on H Camp. I thought it was wrapped up initially. Well, for now, I'll give it. A, I'll give it to Hamilton. And unfortunately, that's what we we're just talking about. It was a turnover there. Led to that goal. That goal comes with 6:51 left to go. We have an offsides call. <laughs> All right, so I believe it was Ryan Lewis who was credited with the goal, Hamilton with the assist. So Ryan Lewis did get a piece of it to knock it in the side of the net. Off the initial Hamilton shot. Here comes Simos. Simos racing up the ice. In front of the net, the shot turned away. What a save by Goodrich. That was huge there. 6-14 and counting left to go. The Hillers now trailing by two. Clyden flips it up over to the near side corner. Wolf trying to get in there. Shields knocks it away. Simos wide to the right. Mannequin gets a stick on it before taking a hard hit. Now out in front, Simos, Walsh. And it looks like he kind of missed the puck there. Along the near side, Weinstock trying to dig it out. Weinstock up against Mannequin, who's able to get by him. And now Gilbert is going to get a nice hit on Mannequin and take it away. Gilbert trying to turn it up ice. Simos gets in there. Out in front of the net, Saperoshitz. No one along the far side for the Hillers, so the Wolverines have it. Here comes Guarino. And that one turned away by Thomas. Dan Kirk along the far side corner. Here comes Kirk. Kirk racing up the ice. The shot. And that is turned away out in front, and Quinlan was trying to jam it in. Brandon Hamilton. Over the near side, Sheamus gets in there. Weinstock. Along the far side, Guarino. Now Blomquist. It's that one around Rogers and Sheamus. Thomas will stop it, set it up for Glyden. Quinlan bangs it off the boards. Back to the Hiller zone we go. Sheamus pops that off the glass. With possession, Hetnick. Hetnick trying to race around the net. And now Thomas will wrap it up as Cronin was trying to jam it into the corner. Also note, Tom, is uh, 4.22 to go in the game, and we haven't had a penalty yet on either side. 
Yeah, it's been a pretty clean game, I would say. And I like how these officials are letting him play out there. They're not going to call anything unless it's really obscene, I think. Especially with how close of a battle this has been. I know it's a two-goal lead for Westwood now, but it's really been a great back-and-forth battle. Rogers puts it up the air side. Shields trying to turn it back around. Healy jammed up with Weinstock. Good steal there by Simos. Saparoshitz, the shot there out in front, and it was turned away. I believe it was Healy who got a stick on it for Westwood. Simos out in front, and that one deflected in the air. And Walsh up against Shields. Millers have done a pretty good job in this period at controlling in the Westwood zone. Racing up the ice now, however, is Healy. Healy, good stick work there. I think Thomas got a piece of that one. Walsh along the far side corner. Three and a half left to go in regulation. Simos for Walsh. Here comes Walsh. Racing up. Walsh shot. Goal! Sean Walsh with a beauty. At 3.20 left to go. Just, uh, just what the hill has needed. What a play by Steve Simos. He was going against his body and knew he had Walsh up there and was able to reverse the puck and get it to Walsh to let him utilize his speed. Well, the Hillers are still very much alive. Four to three with 3.20 left to go. An absolute beauty of a shot by Sean Walsh. Line up the far side. Well, now the Hillers going to be putting the pressure on. Pass over to Hetnick. Hetnick racing in. And that turned away by Thomas. Hetnick was trying to sneak it in. The right side of the net, jammed up along the corner. Clyden sneaks it up the far side. There's a wrister there. That's turned away by Thomas off the stick of Guarino. Back to Guarino, shot. And that one is off of uh, Hetnick. There's Hetnick with a shot. Jammed up, and Thomas able to deflect it away. Loose puck still. What a save by Cole Thomas as he was falling back, was able to swat it away with the glove. With a Westwood defender on top of him. Unbelievable. Dan Kirk able to deflect that one. Now Glyden trying to knock it up into the neutral zone. Up the far side goes Quinlan. Turned up ice by Sheamus. That'll draw the whistle. Well. Cole Thomas has been sensational in net this game, Eric. He has been great, yeah. Like, like I said earlier, all three scenes have figured in, and he's been very prominent in making some big saves here to keep them right in this game. 2-12 left to go in regulation. A 4-3 Westwood lead. The Hillers are running out of time. First line back in there. I'd expect him to stay in throughout the remainder of this game. Look for the Hillers to get this thing down deep and pull the goalie. And here we go, Walsh up the near side. Sean Walsh, shot, turn away. Walsh along the corner. I was surprised Walsh didn't pass to Simos there. Jammed up. And now racing away with it is Horsefall. The Hill meet up with Saparoshitz. Approaching a minute and a half left to go in the third period. Simos. And Simos will put that one around. Saparoshitz. Gilbert. There's a shot, and that was off the side of the netting. Saparoshitz. Backhander Rogers turned away. Sacrificing his body there was McGough. On the far side corner, turned up ice by Gilbert. Westwood with an opportunity here. Simos gets in there quickly. A minute and counting left to go. Walsh has turned away. Donahue got in front of him, and now here comes Cronin. Cronin with a shot. Thomas will wrap it up. 49.7 left to go. What a series of events towards the end of this game. Yeah. Yeah, good pressure. The uh, the um, 
Hillis didn't pull a goal and is still able to sustain some good pressure there with a couple of good chances. Probably call a timeout here. And we will indeed have a timeout. 49.7 seconds left to go. We'll keep things right here. And we'll talk about the big picture in the TVL. As I mentioned, there are four teams that have already qualified for the postseason. Let's get you the rest of the boys' hockey standings. Ashland, 10 wins, four losses, three ties, 23 points. They're technically in the lead for the TVL large right now. Medfield, nine wins, one loss, four ties. They have 22 points. Hopkinton, 10, four and two, they have 22 points. Then you got Westwood, eight, one and five, 21 points. They're all in the postseason. Not far behind is Norwood, seven, three and five, 19 points. Then you got Medway at 7, 8, and 2, 16 points. And Dedham at 7, 7, and 2, 16 points. What a story Medway has been. They've really turned their season around over the last couple of weeks. And then Dover, Sherborne, Weston, 6 wins, 7 losses, 2 times. TVL teams in the postseason. That's pretty impressive stuff. Yeah, it's getting to be a, a very tough league over the years as uh, all the teams have had uh, a great run into the playoffs. It certainly is. In many ways, just when you think they're having a down year, they turn things around <laughs> and they're very much in the playoff picture. Yeah, and you think of the two, you know, especially the Tri-Valley having a lot of the Division II teams now. And Medway, they're having a year where they're just very young. Yep. And losing their coach, Coach Ross. He's been with the program for quite a while. Yeah, that's always a tremendous program as we are underway here in the final 45 seconds or so. Simos racing up the far side, jammed into the boards. Hillers pull the goalie now. So the goalie is out. The Hillers going to have to try to keep possession here. Last time these two teams played over at Westwood, it resulted in a 3-3 tie. So I think it's a pretty even matchup when these two teams meet up. There's a shot and it's turned away. That was off the stick of Quinlan. Need two guys on the puck now. Saparoshitz, 15 seconds left. Gilbert, there's a shot, turned away. Over to the near side it goes. They're gonna have to shoot quickly here, running out of time. Saparoshitz knocks it up towards Walsh. That should do it. The Wolverines are going to hang on. Wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> we got the icing whistle. I think that's There's a point one. Millisecond left, so. Which I don't think is enough time for a goal to. Be enough time. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Westwood Wolverines are going to get the four to three win unless somehow off, right off this face off. Think they're gonna put time on the clock? Someone's able to knock it in, and they might. They might. So, yep, they're putting up another 1.1. 1. Right. 1. That is enough time to that get That is score. enough time, yeah. You gotta shoot it right off the face off. Goal with Simos taking the face off because he's a lefty to be able to shoot directly with his forehand. Drop and shoot. There's a shot, and it's wide to the left. Nice attempt, however. Wow, what a game these two teams played. Tough loss for the Hillers. I think they really played a nice game tonight, but the Wolverines, they were able to get that big goal uh, with 6.51 left to go up 4-2, to two, and the Hillers just not able to... Uh, to respond, but a great game between these two TVL rivals nonetheless. Yeah, that was just probably the best game of the year that, that we've definitely seen, and a uh, great way for the seniors to go out on their senior night, because uh, all three seniors really had uh, solid games. And tough to see the Hillers lose this one, but they, it wasn't for lack of effort. Well, I'd like to see these two teams play a seven game series, I'll tell you that much. Westwood improves to nine, one and five overall. The Hillers fall to 10. Five and two, but both teams are heading to the postseason and they won't see each other in the playoffs as Westwood in that South Division two bracket, the Hillers in South Division three. The final score for the final time, the Westwood Wolverines take down the Hopkinton Hillers four to three in what was a very well played game from both sides. For our crew, Joe Frackleton and John Ritz, my broadcast partner, I'm uh, my broadcast partner, Eric Carty. I'm Tom Nappy, and we thank you for watching Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk to you again soon.